The next opponents in round four were Manchester City at Kenilworth Road. One of the most impressive second division sides with just two defeats in 19 games at this stage. And of course they brought with them one of the heroes of Wembley last April, Andy Dibble. Well, so far it's been fast, frantic, perhaps uh, too frantic, but fairly understandable in a cup time like this. But Manchester City, who've never won on this surface, are really making a fight of it and causing town some problems. Looking for Gleghorn out on the left here. Fullback Nigel Gleghorn, a deep cross. In comes David White. Oh, that's a great volley. White with the opening goal for Manchester City. Just eight minutes gone. Les Zilli asking for more cover. But really, that was a superb strike by White. And a very useful cross by fullback Nigel Gleghorn. He had a little bit of time. Then he picked the far man out, moving in, and that was sweetly hit. 1-0 to City. the flick and Weggel is away, he's beaten the offside trap, Roy Regally with a chance Dibble saves, Oldfield 1-1 and they struck like lightning there David Oldfield the happy recipient of Roy Regally's speed, well that was a, a beautifully worked goal for Oldfield Dibble not to blame there, Regally put away by a lovely touch from Hartford and Oldfield an easy task. 1-1. One, one. Things looking really smooth for Luton at the moment. Much more used to the surface. Harvey pumps one away and Wegley is away again. He's beaten the offside trap. Wegley with space on his own. And well struck. 2-1. Well, Manchester City have been living dangerously, pushing up square, and Nigel Gleghorn at left back really was found wanting there. He's standing in for the injured Andy Hinchcliffe, but Wegley much too quick for him, leaving Devil with no chance. City started well in the first 15, 20 minutes of the game. They haven't shown too much in the later stages. And now here's uh, Danny Wilson attacking him. Pass two, tries a shot. Dibble possibly had it covered, but City are sitting back. They're not, just not getting control of the ball in midfield, and Luton are coming at them in waves. Wilson drifting by two players. A quick snapshot, and that's just why. chasing again and Redmond is penalised referee Dennis Hedges says get on with it if you like and Hill has got on with it and Black has put it over City in all sorts of trouble here they were disputing the decision out there on the flank and Hill quickly relays it to Black he should have done better and really we've seen very little Manchester City in the second half as an attacking force scored plenty of goals in the second division but I think they're finding this a very different level indeed quickly intercepted by Johnson Black chases with Oldfield Oldfield is fouled by Gale that's a free kick Black wants to take it quickly no leaving it Big Fellas getting it up front it's uh, Harvey with the kick his kick Oldfield leaps and there's Wegley on his own and that's a lovely touch again his second goal four minutes from the end that wraps it up for Luton Town 3-1 poor old Andy Dibble once again left exposed but Wegley is really enjoying himself at the moment two goals at Norwich City a nice touch here by Oldfield he tucks it away 
and they're into the last eight.